The City of Burbank Domestic Violence Task Force and the Zonta Club of Burbank recently had an idea that ended up here, at a massive Burbank prop shop. For nearly 80 years, the members of the Zonta Club of Burbank have been working to advance the status of women in the community, and this project was their latest collaborative effort. Inspired by a 2013 anti-domestic violence art display by a Zonta Club in Italy, and the global Zonta Says No advocacy program for the elimination of gender violence, Burbank native Doug Murphy was brought on as the creative director of Bearing Their Souls. So the name Bearing Our Souls came from the concept of uh, Zonta Club and how they wanted to present the shoes. Bearing Their Souls was um, in reference to the victims who um, exposed their uh, situation and their uh, experiences. Um, and through the exhibit, uh, the shoes will correlate. Murphy's familiarity with exhibition design was one reason he was chosen for this project. Going into a phone booth like Clark Kent and turning into Superman is sort of that metaphor for transformation of uh, going from your current situation to coming out a hero. All the things During her term as Burbank mayor from May 2013 to May 2014, Emily Gabaletti reinvigorated the city's domestic violence task force, capping off her year as mayor with the Burbank Town Center art exhibit that brought attention to local services that are available to victims of domestic violence. The task force takes as its mission that no one should ever be isolated, whether you're gay, whether you're straight, whether you're in a a difficult relationship and you're married or you're not married or with kids or not. No one should ever feel isolated. The information has been made available in five languages. One of the service providers listed is the Family Service Agency, which has been in Burbank for nearly a quarter of a century. And the need is growing uh, and unfortunately we have not been successful yet in extinguishing this behavior. We hope we will someday. Um, so we need community to coordinate well. We need everyone to work on this. And we're so grateful that there are efforts like this to raise awareness. And we hope that people will learn not just about the issue itself, but to learn and feel safe to make that phone call. Reporting from the Burbank Town Center, I'm Peter Masurlian with the Burbank On Demand cover story.